I'd like to show you how to bring swatches from InDesign, Illustrator, or Photoshop into each other. <laughs> so if you have, let's say I'm an Illustrator right now and I want to bring swatches over to InDesign or bring them over to Photoshop or anything, we can go either way or anyway, um, we can save our swatches from the swatches panel. So I've got a bus open here. You can see a drawing I did. Uh, and I've got the swatches panel on the right here. Now, it's pretty much the same process in every application, meaning Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe InDesign. If you go to the swatches panel, now in Illustrator, you're going to see I've got a bunch of swatches listed here, including gradients and tints and things like that. If I want to save them, I can come to the swatches panel menu up here in the corner, and you're going to see that we have Save Swatch Library as ASE. Now, in InDesign and Photoshop, it's they're all a little bit different. So you might see like save swatches or something like that. And I know at least in InDesign, you have to select the swatches to save. So I'd have to go into the swatches panel first and click and select all of them. In Illustrator, I don't have to do that. So save swatch library is ASE. It's going to say, where do you want to save them? I'll slap this on my desktop and call it bus. ASE stands for Adobe Swatch Exchange file. Kind of cool. I'll click save going to come up with a warning here and say, well, you can't do gradients, patterns, or tints. So it's going to say whatever. I'll click OK. And if you have any groups, like let's say you've got a layer, or excuse me, swatch groups like in Illustrator or anything like that, those pretty much go away, Okay, if you're, especially if you bring it to InDesign. So let me go over to InDesign, and I'll create a new document here. And I actually just used a shortcut to pop open a document without seeing the new document dialog, and that's Control-Alt-N or Command-Option-N on Mac. If I go to the swatches panel, I'll see some swatches here. What I'm going to do is get rid of these. I'll delete them. And if I come to the swatches panel uh, corner up here, up to the menu, I'll see load swatches. Now you'll see save swatches. That's what it says here in InDesign if you want to save them. So choose load swatches, go to the bus, click open. That's the ASE file. You can email that to somebody and take a look. There's all your swatches. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, easy way to be able to bring swatches between the Adobe applications.